have a G harmonica. Here's a slightly more advanced rhythm and riff combination you can practice. Sounds like this. So let's talk about it for a minute. Maybe I'll just break it down uh, into a couple different sections and uh, if you want the extra challenge, really, you should just stop the video, go back to the beginning, and if you want to see where you're really at, see if you can figure it out just with no explanation. If you're not getting anywhere, if you're getting somewhere, get as much as you can out of that process, and then go back to right here in the video. All right? So the first part of it. This is a really good... Um, little rhythm and riff combination to practice just for your breath control. But. So you're getting that blow, bend, draw on the one. And practice that until it feels and sounds circular. Slow is fine. In fact, I would recommend just playing this slowly, speeding it up gradually. So we got to get this part. Starting on that bent note on two, all the way down to the double or full step bend. You want to lift it just past the half step. You don't need to lift it all the way to the two draw. You can have it bent a little. And go back on down to that two full step bend. So. And then you're going to go to the one draw. Gently. And back to the two double bend, okay? Back to the one draw. That's that whole little passage right there. And you're going to repeat it three times. And then you're going to play two double bend, two draw with the staccato. They have that, your tongue separating these notes. You're going to use this one, two, three chord pop. And we'll do it twice. That's how I played it. Two times on the one, two, three draw chord, the D chord. And then just blow out quickly, which will bring you back to an even playing field when it comes to your air so that when you start this over again, there's almost no hesitation in it. It's like just a circular. That you've gotten your in and out. So listen to the ending as I get there. I'll slow down when I get there. So that's how we put it all together. Let's play it together fairly slow to medium tempo. Once you start to get it, you can come back to this part of the video and try it with me. So that's your whole rhythm exercise. What can you do with it? Who knows? <laughs> you could practice it just for the sake of working a cool little groove thing, but you know, you could try to fit it into something.
works out for some of you guys. I will see you soon with more tips and more things to check out in the very near future.